Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so I'm back tonight and I wanted to show you some different variations to these envelopes that I made earlier in my craft fair series. Now these that I had already previously made, these were made from 12 by 12 sheets of paper. And so I had a very sweet lady um, ask me if I could do a six by six. So I went ahead and figured out the dimensions for a six by six, and that's what these are. Made the same way, just of course smaller. And so don't worry about writing down all the, all the measurements. I'll put them in the description box below. Um, but the six by six, I had scored it at one and three eighths and four and two eighths. Then I flipped it and scored it at a half an inch on each end. So that's the six by six. So then I thought, well, I'll go ahead and do two other sizes. So I have um, done one in eight and a half by eight and a half. And this particular one I scored at two and two eighths and six and three eighths. And I flipped it and each of one of the flaps is three fourths of an inch. So you do three fourths of an inch on each end. This particular one is a 10 inch. And the 10 inch is, of course, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna do this 10 inch on camera with you. So let me just quickly show you this one. Okay, I've already got it cut and I've already got it scored. I'm gonna tell you the tell you the measurements. So let me just pull out my scoreboard. I wanna make sure that I give you exactly right one. Okay, this one is two and a half by seven and three eighths. Scored at two and a half and seven and three eighths, and then one inch on each end. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and do this one on camera, just kind of refresh your memory. And I'm just gonna cut over to each side up to the score line. Just cut up a little bit above your bottom score line. Like this, both of them are at an angle. So I'm gonna do that on all the other three sides quickly. These are so fast, y'all, and they're so cute. Such cute little envelopes. Okay, got one more. Okay, so now you can see how yeah, that met together pretty good, guys. Yeah. Okay, so all you're gonna do is make sure you uh, use your bone folder and score the creases. I love this paper. Flamingos, they're so, they're so pretty. Okay, so I've got it all creased. I'm gonna take my art glitter glue and I'm just gonna run a little glue along the edge. Now, you don't have to use art glitter glue or a glue. You can use a good sturdy tape if you want to do that as well. Okay, now once you get the center, go ahead and get some glue on the bottom. Now, if you're using a directional print, which this is a directional print, I always fold the one that I fold that's gonna be closed is gonna be the one at the bottom. So you see this, this directional print goes that way, so this would be the bottom. Isn't that cute, y'all? Okay, so I got that. And now I'm gonna quickly add some tear and tape at the top. That way then whoever purchases it already has some adhesive to use. And there you go. Isn't that so cute? I don't know which size I love the best. I love this paper. And I've got two more that I'm gonna do off camera. I've got them right here. But uh, yeah, these these are so cute. Okay, so this is 10 inch. Okay, let's start like this. This is a six inch. This is an eight and a half inch. 10 inch and a 12 inch. So we've got, all, got them all. There's all the different sizes. 
Like I said, I'll put all the dimensions in the description box below, so don't worry about that. I'm going to have it all ready for you. So anyway, um, yeah, I hope that this helps you, and um, yeah, go out and make a bunch of fun envelopes. They're so fun, and they would make really great envelope sets for your craft fair. So anyway, okay, y'all, I guess I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Oh yeah, y'all, I'm really close to 500 subscribers, so probably tomorrow I'll be announcing my 500 subscriber giveaway. And then once I hit 500, then I'll be giving that the those items away. So, um, yeah. Um, and I guess until I talk to you again, I will see y'all later. Bye, y'all.